So final thoughts as we're closing down and winding down this podcast, um, you have your medical school background. Any advice for young kids out there on how to take care of their bodies? Yeah, I think, um, gosh, you know, it, it, it's so interesting now. Um, you know, I sit there and and, and it, it, the debate back and forth is whether they should be early specialization. And I'm not going to sit there and, and, you know, I train young athletes. Like, you know, I, I train high school age athletes and have had very successful high school age athletes. But the main thing that, you know, we really focus in on is not being so linear and just track based. Uh -huh. um, we'll go out there and we'll just be creative with some of the stuff. We'll do some, you know, stop and go stuff. And, and like my track athletes are going like, okay, you know, what, why are we going, you know, multi-directional, even though I'm running in a straight line? Um, you know, we'll do mix in stuff. We don't do heavy weights. We do pretty, you know, manageable kind of weights and stuff like that for high school athletes. And so I think the biggest thing is that uh, it, it has changed. There were, you know, uh, we talked about this earlier. There really wasn't coaches out there that like were training people. That wasn't a big thing back when I was a kid. And, and so now there's a lot. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, do your homework, make sure that the coach is, is multifaceted that they're trained. They're not just sitting there saying, okay, this is, I'm doing it this because this is kind of how I did it and stuff like that. Or they give themselves a fancy, and no disrespect, but they make themselves the acceleration doctor or the, the agility doctor or, or whatever it is, you know? And, and it's like, okay, well, what are your credentials? You know, because mm -hmm. training an NFL guy is way different than training a kid who's like, you know, 13, 14. Uh, because in the NFL, they're pretty well developed as athletes. They just need, you know, a little bit of guidance where, I think at 13, they're a clay mold. And it's like, there's so much more that you need to teach them and for them to learn and stuff like that. So for the young kids, I would sit, be careful who you, uh, you know, find to train and, and stuff. Try to stay in as many sports as possible. But if you are going to train, make sure it's a multifaceted training, with, you know, with therapy, um, with, you know, make sure you eat right, sleep right, uh, do prehab. Uh, regeneration stuff and then obviously still doing that grunt work and being able to you know really put because at that age like if I'm sitting there giving all this fancy jargon and giving you all this scientific training it, you know a kid at 13 years old like you can't distinguish between that much between a lactate training I'm sorry a power speed and you know uh, speed power development and stuff like that They're, I mean it's just they don't have the muscle tone they don't have some of the other stuff to develop, but they can learn coordination and they can mm -hmm. learn, you know, working the different planes uh, of their body and, and just, you know, staying as healthy as possible. And, and, and if a young athlete can do that, then I think that they're going to be um, really successful and you're seeing it. I mean, these kids, I, I don't believe it's the track. I don't believe it's all the shoes. I also believe that, uh, there's really good coaches out there who are educating themselves. And that's why these young kids are just putting up astronomical uh, marks and stuff like that, you know, running 10, eight, a female running 10, eight hundred and, uh, you know, uh, guys throwing ridiculous things and, and just things that weren't good 20 years ago or were amazing 20 years ago are just good now. Mm -hmm. And I think that has a lot to do with uh, the coaching, especially in the, uh, and things like that. So, so that's, that's, you know, it's long winded, but my, my main topic, my main thing is, is, is keep, be athletic, do as many sports as you can, you know, try not to be, um, you know, single support sport and just, you know, really working on trying to be like a, the best hundred meter, runner. you know, be, be good at, uh, you know, dribbling a basketball, dribbling a soccer ball, um, have fun with it, enjoy it. And then, you know, all that stuff will take care of itself for sure.